Hello and welcome to Satisfactory. If you don't know what this game is, it is basically an open world kind of survival game, but the main focus is industrialization, machines, learning new recipes for new and more advanced machines, and your mining resources, basically trying to automate everything you possibly can. Now, just recently, not too long ago, I made a community post asking you guys if you would like to see this game because I just myself started playing it recently and I am absolutely in love with this game and a lot of you actually wanted me to do a let's play on this so here we are so if you are enjoying this be sure to leave a like down below and also leave a comment but anyways let's jump right into it and let's choose a starting area so I'm not completely new to the game I have played it a little bit before not too much but a little bit um, and I believe I started with this one, which is ideal for first time pioneers. You can pause the video and read. Um, but I think we're going to go with this one. I'm not quite ready to go into some advanced area, which is this experience. I'm not that experienced. So I think we'll choose this one. I should also say that the backstory is you're kind of working for a company and the company has sent you out to start this autom automation process thing on these different planets. But you'll, we'll get into that. I'm not going to skip the intro. There we go, choose this area and we're going to start the game. If I remember, I will leave a time where you can just skip to it and that will be the time where we have landed so you can skip the intro if you already know it. But I kind of want to live through it, so let's do it. As you can see, we are now in space. And look around. Attention Pioneer, oh, the following hello. instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Fixit Incorporated. Okay, Fix -It that Pioneers works. have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Uh-huh, got it. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make uh -huh. sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. If I survive them. You know, could be dangerous. Expand your factories, outposts and pipelines through automation and augmentation. That's As I said, it. basically. Get to work and be effective. All right. Warning, planet fall imminent. Please oh. remain seated during uh, the procedure. Okay. Atmospheric entry in five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Procedure initialized. Oh boy. I better survive this. Uh, wait. Do I have insurance? No. Oh. Okay. Uh, that's not good. Aren't you supposed to have insurance for these things? Eh. <laughs> This, I should say as well that the graphics of this game are stunning. Look at that. Suit is at 100%. Copy that. I'm sure it is. Remember, efficiency first. Go right. Speed. Efficiency first, people. Let's do this. Right, our tool. And there we go. First steps. Probably. Maybe. Hello. All right. To Planet Massage 2, a, B, B, I'll let all this run if you want to pause. Sorry. If you want to pause, Arena, you can read it all. Also known as artificial directory and assistant. Ooh, what's this? To support pioneers such as you in their ah, mission. Ah, radiation. You okay. Third of your sector okay. To survive planet fall. I'll shut up now. No. Wait, if, if, what? Objective based introduction initialized. Welcome to onboarding. Did it just say I was the first successful? Excuse me. First objective. Please dismantle the drop pod. The resulting materials will be repurposed to construct a habitat and utility base from now on referred to as the hub. All right. Note. 
Fixit Incorporated is cost effective and efficient. We do not waste. That is good. That is very good. Let's have to enter dismantle mode and we shall dismantle it. All right. Do let me know, guys, by the way, if you want me to keep the tutorial on if I or if I should turn it off if I can somehow. Uh, because I have played this game before and I'm not going to be a noob at it. <laughs> I'm actually going to know what I'm doing. So let me know if you want to hear all the details or if I, you want me to just skip ahead down below in the comments. I might skip ahead on all some of it. Fix it data and communication is recorded and stored in the codex, including these steps. Copy that. I want to, I'm just going to walk around here a little bit. All the rules, messages and emails will be saved to the codex. Press X to open the codex. Right, so we have inbox, we have tutorials, we have recipes, parts, equipment, all that good stuff. This is the stuff that we can make right now. Is this a cave? No. Second all right. objective. Please ensure you have your Fixit Incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. Yeah, yeah, that's that's our According that's our weapon actually. Regulations, every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. I'm picking these up, by the way, because I know we will be needing them. And this is food. This is how we're actually going to heal. So that's a good thing to remember right here. Okay, press tab to open the inventory. This is our inventory. This is our fella right here. And I'm going to just drag and drop that into the hands because that is our Xeno Sabre or whatever, whatever this thing I'm about is. Please familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. Because we, we can sap no. things. The acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. Indeed. If we do not find iron and settle down close to it, it, it it's going to be a pain. Trust me. Press V to scan for iron nodes. Right. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that right now. I kind of want to take a look around here. Um, but yes, we have the Xeno Sapper. Or whatever this thing is called. Um, because we will be needing it to defend ourselves. This area looks kind of flat. Though I'm not seeing any ores, am I? Maybe this area is very flat, actually. All right, let's initiate a scan. Press V to scan for iron nodes. Up oh, there we go. Got to hold it down and then let go on the iron. Boom, and we should get a ping over here, 215 meters, and then a bunch of others that are quite far away. So we're gonna head in this direction. Uh, so we can settle near the iron because we will be needing that. If we don't settle near the iron. It's gonna be a pain, trust me, and I'm gonna grab any of these fruits that I can. But look at this graphics. The graphics are absolutely stunning. This looks cool. There's like coral stuff here, even though there's no water. I guess maybe there was so I guess maybe there was water here at some point. Oh hello there! Do you even have a... Excuse me, sir. Ma'am, whatever. Do, do you even have a head? I guess that's the head right there. Ay, 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 that's a small head for such a lot... Okay, you know what? And what, is the, what are these feet? Okay, you know what? I'm not... I'm gonna... I'm, I'm first here on the planet. I'm not gonna ask questions. Um... So there should be iron up here somewhere. Which I'm going to assume that is being guarded by a creature. Uh, I think it was in this direction-ish. I may have to scan again. <laughs> oh, there's a creature right there. Me and it. Oh, wait. So we have iron in that direction. Iron in that direction. Uh, right. This is closest. Right. That creature right there is probably not friendly. That's what I'm going to assume. Is the sun going down? Oh, like, there's another planet in the, in the, in the space. Okay, here's a- oh, there's two iron nodes here. Right, you, uh, you're not gonna be friendly, are you? Yeah, I'm gonna have to kill you. Okay, I've never actually seen one of you before, but... Uh, prob- ah, yeah, okay, damage to pro- yeah, ow! Zap, zap, sappy, sappy sap, okay. Alien organs, yes, that, that stuff. Okay, uh, hold down E to pick up iron ore. Pure, yes, we will be needing that. Thanks, well... Build the hub. Right, will do. To complete this objective, the resources salvaged from the drop pod will be consumed. Copy that. All right, so we will ensure the hub is built uh, on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources. Yes, Failure to do I know. So I know this. Will result in non-optimal progress. Yes, I, I already said all this. 
yeah, guys, let me know if you want me to disable the tutorial. Um, because I already know all this stuff. It's pretty much just annoying at this point. Um, so yeah. Uh, let's see here. Inventory, equipment, buildings, the hub. This is basically our hub. This is where we will be spending a lot of our time, at least in the beginning. Um, so if we go into, let's set this mantle mode. So Q is our build mode. And as you can see, we have the hub right here. And whoa, hello. So as you can see, this is quite big, right? Um, I can rotate this by using mouse wheel. Uh, and I'm trying to remember what way I want this to face. I think I'm gonna have it facing this way and I'm gonna put it over here on the ground. Yeah, just like that. And yeah, yeah, go away. Yep, that's perfect. Right, so we have a few crafty stages here. Right? You have unlocked. Hub feature, <sighs> manual craft bench. Hub feature, hub terminal. Right. Fifth objective, yes. complete hub upgrade one. Note, the craft bench and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. Yes. So here we have a craft bench. This is, well, a craft bench <laughs> to where we can craft some more advanced stuff like wires and cover wire, etc. And this is the hub terminal. Terminal. This is basically where we can upgrade the hub. So for this, we need uh, uh, select milestone. So right here we need, it says we need 10 iron rods. We don't have any of those. So when we have 10 iron rods, we can smack them in there and we can upgrade it. And then we can see that the stuff that we get. So we get more inventory slots, we get a portable miner and we get equipment workshop. So let's work on that right away. Now this over here, as you can see, this is where we can manually craft some ingots and whatnot, but we can automate all this. But to begin with, I need to hold down this button in order to make some ingots and um, yeah, th this is manual manual work right here, but it also says how many you can make. So we need to make 10 iron rods, pretty cool. So now in here, act to act to milestone, I can just drag these in here and boom, upgrade and boom, upgraded. And she's going to interrupt me again, most likely. Yep, told you. you. Unlocked. Building workshop. Equipment, portable miner, inventory, additional slots, hub feature, personal storage. Blah, 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 blah. So this is a store. Complete hub uh. upgrade two. Note, portable miners require no power and will mine a node until their inventory is full. Note, multiple portable miners can be used on a single node. That is true. Uh, I need to remember where to actually craft these because it is escaping my mind. Right, I need to make this equipment workshop first, and for that I need four rods and four plates, meaning I need to make a bunch more ingots here. So I will be right back once that is done. All right, six plates and four, oh, 10 plates and 20, oh, okay. Wait, I don't need that, no, I'm doing the wrong thing. I need equipment workshop, right. I am going to attach it right here snap guidelines hold down left control yeah, i think if i can potentially get it to snap to one of this uh facing towards me that would be pretty cool uh doesn't look like there's enough space on that side unfortunately uh so i think we're just gonna have to smack it there okay this is <laughs> Uh, mm, yeah, no, that doesn't look that doesn't look the best, does it? If, we can always dismantle it, so I'm gonna place it right here for now. For now, this is great. Um, yes, perfect. So in here, we can now make the portable miner, and I need two metal plates and two rods, four rods. Sorry, that should be fairly easy to get. I am so sorry. The music was turned way down, so you couldn't hear it. Um. Yeah, th we have music now. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is the first episode after all. We're, we're, we're learning stuff. Well, I have played this before, but... Uh, oh, I just need two more. Let's make two... Actually, no. The first one here is sufficient, I think. So if we open up our inventory real quick... Uh, wait, where's the inventory? I forget again. Uh, tab, there we go. Right, I, I promise I've played this before and I know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. Uh, we can just left click it like so, and look at this. Look at this. It just pops out. 
that has like small eyes, I guess you can call those. And it just starts mining for you. So if we open this, as you can see, it has all the saws here, so we can grab all those. So now we don't have to manually uh, mine for anything. Now the next upgrade in the hub is going to be a really nice one because we have a smelter and we can actually start producing power. So I would love to get to that point in this episode before we call it quits. And boom, select milestone, drag and drop this stuff in. I think you can double click it actually, there we go. Upgrade hub, boom, would you look at that? All right, and I can still access this fairly easily. We now have a little room that's going to develop up. Hub feature, biomass burner. Scanner feature, copper. New buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Yes. Seven so objective. Th Complete mm -hmm. hub upgrade three. Right. Note, connect buildings to a biomass burner for power. No. Yep. Buildings such as the smelter require a recipe to be set. Right. Advice. So. Automate very. the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. Right. All right. So. This is our biomass burner, and this is why I collected so many leaves before, because we need this in order to generate our first amount of power. But first, we need we we want the, we have the smelter here, so I kind of want to make this, um, but I need some copper wiring. So before we could do that, we need to uh, to basically find some copper, which we have now unlocked in here. Uh, can I escape this? There we go. So what I want to do is I want to make a few more of these. And so what I need is actually four rods and two more plates. And then I can make another portable miner. I'm going to go here. It has collapsed itself, which means this is now full. So we can grab all 100 ores, which is perfect. It is really cool. It mines on its own and we'll actually pretty soon be able to set up a thing where we get it um, basically into a chest or into a storage. If I remember correctly, it's fairly soon, actually. All right, we should be able to make our next portable miner. There we go. And then let us find some copper. Unfortunately, the sun is going down, but that shouldn't stop us. Copper ore. And we have the first thing over here. That's the nearest, almost 200 meters. That is fine. We have another one, which is almost half a kilometer and a kilometer away. We're going to pick the one that is closest to us. And I'm going to keep gathering these leaves on the way. And like the robot said, be sure to have your zip zapper out. <laughs> uh, because these things, you, I, I, they tend to be guarded by some creature. I, rem I, I hear it. Yep, there it is. All right, come on, buddy. I do not want to get attacked in the back. Ow, ow. He's, he's hurting. He's hurting. Ow, ow. Come on. I guess he's maybe, like, shielded in the front. There we go. Perfect. Now, if you actually want to heal yourself, you can take these fruits right here, or the nuts, and you can eat them, and they give you some healing. Gotta eat a lot, though. <laughs> nom nom. There we go. Perfect. And we can put that away, and we can now equip this. I'm gonna go ahead and... Pick up this cover, and I'm going for the middle one because if we want to put down a bigger digger machine, um, we need that middle bit actually gone. So that's why I'm doing that. All right, gotta mine a little bit of cover, and then we'll return home and set up a smelter. All right, I have 30 cover ore. Hopefully that is going to be good. And it's really nice up there in the compass. It shows you where your hub is, so you can't really get lost too much. Um, yeah, so again, I'm going to pick up a bunch of these leaves because we need power. All right, so we want to make a smelter, which requires copper uh, wire, which means we need to make some copper ingots first, and then we can make the wire. How many? How much wire did we need? How much wire? Eight. All right, so we need eight in total, which is right here. As you can see, some things take quicker to craft, some take longer. All right, smelter, I also need some pipes. I called them pipes. It, it It's rods. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so here we have the smelter. As you can see, there are some arrows indicating in and out. Uh, the blue is out, the orange is in. Um, so I want to face this uh, like this. Because in the future, we can then connect it just like that. All right, so this now needs some power. For that, I need more copper wiring. Not only that, I believe I need to make cable. Yes, I need some cable so I can actually attach the things 
Um, I also, yes, power line. I do not have the, yes, this is good. I remember something else. We, at some point we get a, like a pole where the cable can go to, so we can like have power going way off in the distance, but we don't have that yet and we don't need it either at this point in time. All right, gonna make some cables just like that. And now if I press two, I can do this and do that. And it is connected. Now what we need to do is I need to go inside here and I can add this. And it also tells you a bunch of cool stuff. You can turn it off right here. Um, and it also says one leaves 80 leaves per minute. So you can do some calculation stuff there. So we are now generating power. And if I go in here now for this smelter stuff, we actually need to set it a specific recipe. It won't just take anything in. Well, it will. That can be smelted. But... We need to tell it what do you need to make. So in this case, I wanted to make, uh, let's say iron ingots and I can just put it iron and it will make them and I can pick them out just like that. And it will use power. And if you look in here, you can actually see how much power is being produced and how much is being consumed, etc. So that is really cool. Now with the nightfall here, I think I'm going to call this a first episode. If you enjoyed this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It would mean a lot and it really supports me. Um, what is the next hub tier? Hub upgrade three. Uh, we will get the constructor, which will help us make stuff for us. So like those components, like wires and stuff, we could actually automate um, power pole and stuff like that, which is going to be really good. So yeah, let me know if you're hyped for this series down below in the comments. And whoa, it's getting it's thick, it's getting dark. Uh, do we have lights in here? We do. This will be our home uh, place for ev eventually. <laughs> But yes, let me know if you're hyped for this series up below in the comments. I really, really enjoy this game, and I hope you are as well. Again, let me know if I need to disable this tutorial. I think I will disable this tutorial from here on out, because it is, it's pretty much the same going on from here. Just more advanced stuff, but uh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be able to do the bots work in here on this one. But that's gonna be it. I've gotta stop rambling. Really hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and goodbye.